before Michael Jordan's basketball talents paved the way for him to earn millions and attain all-time world status, he had to contribute to the family budget like everyone else in the household. During his childhood years, Michael's family wasn't so well off as they worked their way up the social ladder. So one summer, Michael's mom Dolores signed him up as a maintenance man in a hotel. Aside from helping the family financially, Dolores wanted MJ to work because she wanted him to realize the value of hard work. Moms know best indeed. At that time, Michael's siblings already had their jobs, as well as his two brothers worked as bus drivers while his two sisters were McDonald's and department store employees. Only Michael didn't have a job that summer, so his mom pushed him to work in the hotel. Unfortunately, according to MJ, he didn't enjoy the job so much that he decided to quit immediately. One summer, my mom, you just gotta work. And she got me a job as a maintenance man in the hotel. Man, I quit that job so quick. I just couldn't do it. I could not keep regular hours. It just wasn't me. From then on, I never ever had another job, Jordan told GQ's David Breskin. Michael didn't reveal the terms and conditions that came with the hotel maintenance job, but based on his own words, it seemed like he didn't enjoy the universally standard 9 hours a day type of work. This is also a massive reason why he decided to pursue sports for a living. It was just a question of whether it would be baseball or basketball. Michael was the odd man among his siblings who had and enjoyed their jobs. Mike was never interested in the type of work his siblings did and what his mom signed up for because at an early age he already knew that the money was in the entertainment industry. Sports in particular was what he set his eyes on. How did Jordan realize that the entertainment world was the real deal at such a young age? Through his grandpa who would pay to see him do the best James Brown's get on the good foot impersonation. From then on, Michael knew that he was born not for the corporate world but to be a superstar in front of the world's eyes. Of course, MJ eventually made it to the corporate world after dazzling us with his basketball career. Even then, Jordan didn't just rely on what was given to him. One does not become one of the richest people in the world by accident. MJ earned around $91 million in his 15-year NBA tenure. $63 million came in his final two seasons with the Chicago Bulls. In addition to his on-court earnings, Jordan made millions through endorsements. At the peak of his fame, his airness was on billboards, television commercials and even cereal boxes. Simply put, he was the most in-demand celebrity endorser in the 90s. Jordan has come a long way from being a mere product endorser. After bidding goodbye to the game of basketball, the six-time NBA champion has financed different businesses from a variety of industries. From the looks of it, becoming the greatest of all time was Jordan's main goal, a quest that he succeeded with flying colors. Now, Jordan is just enjoying life while diligently completing life's side quests. Perhaps Jordan's most famous and valuable business partnership is with Nike. Jordan earns 5% of royalties, which is around $10 to $12 per every shoe sold. And since he's selling millions every year, estimates show that he makes up to $150 million per year from the Jordan line of sneakers. In 2010, MJ bought the Charlotte Hornets for $175 million, which included the operating rights to Spectrum Center, the team's home arena. At present, the franchise worth is pegged at $1.5 billion. We all know that basketball isn't Jordan's first love. Baseball was the first sport that introduced him to the world of athletics. And it's only right that Jordan included baseball in his business portfolio. In 2017, Jordan joined 14 other investors including baseball legend Derek Jeter to purchase MLB's Miami Marlins for $1.2 billion. MJ was eventually showered with greater opportunities far beyond the world of sport and in the world of business he is definitely now in the upper echelons of the world's wealthiest businessmen. It looks like those childhood lessons about hard work paid off.